Hello and welcome to a special video review. I'm going to be taking a little break from the Top 85 Games Countdown series, which focuses on obviously games that were available back in the day, to take a look at a brand new game which has been specifically developed for the Acorn Electron. Um, now, I tend to focus uh, my attention on Beeb versions of games. Um, I had an Acorn Electron back in the day. In fact, it was officially my first computer, um, although I, I quickly did move across to the Beeb after my dad upgraded his uh, Model B to, uh, to the master and I was able to take on uh, the Model B myself. And I think it's fair to say a lot of people, including me, if I'm honest, um, did tend to think of the Acorn Electron as being a bit of a slow cousin compared to the Beeb. And I think some of that stems from the fact that a lot of games started out for the Beeb and would later be ported across to the Acorn Electron. And it's fair to say that some of those ports were perhaps not done with the greatest amount of care in some cases. There was a lot of flickering sprites and just generally felt a lot slower than, than the equivalent games for the Beeb. And I think that gave the Electron a bit of a bad rep. And uh, it turns out that that was entirely undeserved. Zero X Code has been doing some demo uh, materials for the Electron over the last couple of years, which have been really, really impressive. Um, I mean, I've been following him on Twitter for uh, at least a year and a half now. And some of those um, demo materials really, really show what the Acorn Electron is capable of. But he didn't want to stop there. He decided that uh, he was going to set a technical challenge to create a fast paced platform game specifically for the Acorn Electron, but obviously compatible with the Beeb as well. Um, maybe inspired a little bit by, by games uh, of the likes of Chucky Egg, but something fast and smooth, no flickering, and uh, yeah, basically set in 50 frames per second, and to demonstrate as much as anything else what the Acorn Electron is capable of. And what he's come up with is this amazing game, Elementum. And uh, this basically pitches you as an electron and you're moving around the circuitry of, uh, of, a, of, of a machine and you're trying to rescue the 6502 CPU. And uh, there are all sorts of challenges, fiendish challenges, I should say, uh, that beset you along the way. Um, it's an amazing game and I would strongly urge you to go and seek it out. Uh, you can get it from the Stardot forums if you want to play it on an emulator. The, uh, the disc image is, is freely available for download if, if that's what you want to do. Or alternatively, uh, if you'd like to get hold of, a, of an, a, I was going to say an original floppy version. I mean, it is an original floppy version, but obviously something that's been uh, published recently. Uh, you can actually get hold of it on floppy disk, both um, both it, both formats of floppy disk. Uh, you can see it in the uh, 5.25 edition there. And uh, it's got its very own cover art. Um, you can. It's also been advertised recently in, in, in a number of magazines. And uh, yeah, it's it's well worth seeking out. And I'm hoping that after you've uh, taken a look at the uh, the video review that you will agree with me that it's an excellent game and well worth seeking out. Uh, a couple of little things to add. Uh, I've been playing Elementum for the past couple of weeks. I've spent quite a few hours playing it. Uh, I've managed to get to a certain point in the game, um, but I've been uh, been very kindly uh, given some some passwords by Zero X Code to demonstrate some of the later levels as well. So we'll be able to have a have a sneak peek at some of those too. Um, I think otherwise it would have taken many months for, before I could have got this video review completed. So uh, my thanks to Zero X Code, not just for the for the game itself, um, but also for, for helping me out to, to make this review a little bit more than it might otherwise have been. Anyway, without further ado, let's dive in and take a look at Elementum. Okay, let's fire it up. Go Zero X Code's name at the bottom there. Elementum, version 1.04. So bad electronic components have taken the 6502 CPU hostage and you, a brave electron, must rescue it. So you've got uh, left and right controls, return for jumping and shift to do a turbo. We're going to stick with um, normal mode. In hard mode you actually have a life counter. Um, and there we go, we're going with level 1, elementary. So this is a nice, simple level to get you started, just to get you used to the controls, a bit of a sort of tutorial level, if you like. Um, really, you just have to collect the zeros and ones, and you can see I'm using shift there to make the electron go faster, which also improves the, uh, the length of jump. So we just need to get that last flag over there, and there's the 6502, which is our exit for the level. Just need to jump into it, and there we go. So level one cleared, not too much trouble. Um, you can see, obviously, that the bonus counter starts at 200 and gradually counts down, so obviously the faster you can get through the level, 
um, the more points are on offer. Um, it's also a good idea to plan out, once you get used to the levels, to plan out where the 6502 will appear, because obviously if you want to really go for maximum points, it's a good idea if you can uh, be as close to the 6502 when you get that last flag as possible. Um, but it's me, so really it's more a case of just seeing whether I can complete the level or not. There we go, that's the last flag. I just need to pop up to the top of the screen there. Not too much trouble, hopefully. And here we go. And that's level two clear. Now you'll notice each time you clear a level, you get a little password there. Um, that's useful if you want to skip ahead to a level. Ah oh, yes, now this level involves some rather sticky ground. Oh, there's a life gone there. Um, so the sticky ground means that you basically uh, can't use the turbo. So it's a limitation on, on how far you can jump when you're on sticky ground. Um, so, but there is a nice little stretch of it at either end of these higher platforms uh, that you can use just to oh, didn't quite manage to get it there. Uh, let's try that again. So hop, 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 and over to the side. And oh, there we go. Right, now we just need to get to the 6502 again. And hopefully just pop over to this side. There we go. And off we go. Not too much of a shabby bonus there. And we're on to level four. Ah, now this is where we start to see some of those bad components showing up. So you can see some resistors trotting along here. I do really, really like these. They're probably my favourite of the uh, the enemies in uh, Elementum. I think they're just they're just really well animated, and they they actually look kind of creepy too. Um, it's almost like sort of spiders. I mean, two-legged spiders, I suppose, but uh, nevertheless. Um, okay, so we're just gonna try and avoid this meanie. Uh, pop over the top. Oh dear! Well, I managed to get the flag, but then collided. Now it is a fiendishly tricky game, especially in the later levels. But it has some very nice, um, what I would say, generous features as well. Obviously, the fact that you can um, try as many times as you like on a level, albeit that it's, you might be sacrificing your score, but the fact that you don't uh, have a life counter. Um, certainly on normal mode, I think is really nice because it just gives you that ability to just keep trying. Um, and I think the other thing that's really, really kind is that um, if you collect a flag and then you lose a life, it doesn't reset the whole level to the start again. Um, a lot of Beeb games, certainly back in the day, had that um, rather unfortunate uh, feature of just basically sticking you back at the beginning of the level every time you lost a life, which was always a bit frustrating. So I think Elementum definitely... Uh, it has, it has its kinder moments as well as being quite a tricky game. Okay, so just one more flag to get here. He's really, really going for it, this one. Look at him go. Trot, 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 trot. Okay, right, just hop over the top. Just need to get back to the top. Now, you could you could, you could, could play the uh, sort of cheeky approach of just killing yourself to reset yourself at the top of the screen, but I am going to try and get back there. Um, not sure if I'll make it or not, but we should at least try to, to do it within a single life if we can. Uh, just need to avoid pranging on this. Uh... Oh, oh well. <laughs> Never mind. I almost made it. Right now, I need to be on the third one down, I think. And turbo across from here. Just avoid the meanie. There we go. And we've cleared level four. On to level five. The floor is lava. Yes. Now this is uh, this is where things really start to get quite tricky. Certainly for me. Um, I find this level quite quite a challenge. So those grids there that the uh, resistors have got no trouble trotting across, they are um, dangerous and can basically kill your electrons. So you, you have to avoid landing on those. Um, but as I say, we'll see if we can get a little bit further in. So, oh, yes. So you really have to judge that jump over there. Oh, yeah. Yes, you really have to jump, uh, judge the jump because you don't want to obviously fall through the gap like I did. Oh dear, burning through my, uh, well, I'd say burning through my lives. Of course, there's no life counter on normal mode, but you know what, you get the idea. Um, but that jump over there, we've got to time it to obviously get across the gap and avoid falling through it, but at the same time, um, not go too far over. Oh dear, I fell through again. Uh, because if you go too far across, you will end up on the lava, uh, so to speak, on the other side, and that's curtains for the electron. So let's see if we can try that again. I will warn viewers that uh, it's possible we might be on this level for a while and may have to apply some creative editing to, to just get to the end. Oh, made it across and then straight onto the lava. Um, but I, I, at the same time, I think it's fair to, to show 
the number of attempts that it does take because uh, it's it, it really does um, highlight how tricky the game is. You have to be very very uh, quick with your fingers uh, to to really get the get into the level itself. Let alone complete, of course. Um, okay, right, come on. There we go. Right now we can get up here on the right hand side. Oh dear, <laughs> spoke far too soon. Clearly. Um, oh dear, I'm just. I, I think we might have reached the point of some creative editing. Here we go. So here's one I prepared earlier. Um, well, I've managed to basically get all the flags now, so it's just a case of getting to the 6502. And I think I just need to do a turbo jump from the other side there. And off we go into level 6. Smell the magic smoke. Ah, so we've got some different uh, bad components here. Um, my hardware knowledge is not as good as some of you watching this. I'm not quite sure which particular components these ones are. I don't know whether they're meant to be capacitors, perhaps, because they're sort of sparking at the top there. Maybe it's uh, just my bad memories of X2 capacitors going kaboom uh, with older beebs. Well, they kind of look a bit like bad teeth as well, don't they? Sort of, uh, bad teeth with feet. Oh, that one at the bottom is really fast. Look at him go. So the, the challenge here is to... Oh, not fall through unless you unless you actively want to fall through of course that's that's the uh, that's the thing to bear in mind um so okay we've got the we've got the we've got to managed to get down here let's pop across and up 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 and across and across and across this is uh just get us up to the right position see whether we can get past this meanie here oh well, i managed to get past him and then fell straight off that's not so good is it uh, right uh okay Oh, yeah. oh, oh, <laughs> right. Um, yes, not making a huge amount of progress here. Um, not sure whether. Oh, dear. I'm not sure whether we're going to. Oh, make a huge amount of progress on this level at this stage. Oh. Yeah, it's really quite. Oh, it's really quite a frustrating level as levels go. Um. Let's see if we can... Oh. No, it's very much a case of back to the beginning every time. Uh, right. Oh, no. Try not to jump into the uh, the bad guys. Uh, oh, oh. oh dear, I really hashed that one up. I should have managed to get that zero flag there, but that didn't quite work, did it? All right. Let's see whether we can make a bit more progress up on, on top of the ladder here. Oh, no, well, it just helps if you don't fall off the ladder, of course. Uh, oh, hmm, yes, once again, really showcasing how tricky this game can be, uh, a lot of thought has clearly gone into this, um, and it is certainly outfoxing me at this point, oh, there, there are certain points in the game where you just almost feel like you're just hurling yourselves into oblivion, um, each time, let's see whether can do a little bit more over here. Let's perhaps drop up. No, no. Oh, yeah. Maybe if I go from... No, I think that gap's too wide, though, isn't it? Oh, straight onto the meanie again. Mm, I think perhaps we're going to need to, uh, yes, pick things up at a better date. There we go. All right, we're on to level seven. Um, I did honestly get those flags, by the way. I just thought I'd save you the... the uh, the chore of watching me go over and over again. Now, on this level, we've got these these nifty jump pads. So when you land on them, sort of like trampoline style, uh, your electron just bounces up and down, which is uh, rather fun. Uh, but it does mean that you, you can't quite use the old shift and jump when you're on one of those platforms. So it's, it's a case of having to time your jump from the trampoline section. Um, to get to the next, oh dear, there's lots of lava, lots of lava around here, isn't there? Okay, managed to grab that one. It was a fairly simple one. Let's see if we can get up to the top, maybe, and just grab some, grab that uh, flag up there. Okay, now this one is very tricky. Uh, I'll hold my hands up. I have never actually managed to successfully get past this level, unfortunately. Um, I'm not quite sure how you get that uh, flag over on the uh, bottom left there, um, but I will I will see if I can at least get in a little bit further into the level. 
Maybe if we can get up to the top at least, that would be something. Oh well, there's an extra flag. Oh, and another. I will take my victories where I can find them. Uh, oh, no, no, oh. <laughs> you see what I mean? There is, there's a certain point where it just feels like every every uh, other second you're just losing a life. Uh, yeah, you see, I, that that one really does fox me. I don't know how you're supposed to how you're supposed to get that. Oh dear, I mean that resistor trotting along isn't any help, is he? I think we might skip past this level. I'm going to use a level code that was kindly shared with me. Um, here we go. So we've got some different baddies on this level, uh, rising up and down here. Now, I think that you, from, from, from memory, from some of my other practice goes, I think you can technically jump on the top of them if you have engaged your, your turbo jump beforehand, but you can only sort of bounce off them. You certainly can't land on them. So although they might look like uh, lifts um, a la Chucky Egg, they're not. Um, but you can bounce off of them if you're very, very careful, uh, which I'm generally not, <laughs> that's to be said. Um, I'm going to do a bit of bouncing up here. No, that's not really getting me very far, is it? Uh, mm. Okay, let's, let's try. If, I could, if you have to time it just right so that you can get across, but I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> Clearly my timing is not what it should be. Uh, okay, right. Let's, let's just calm down a little bit and see if we can at least clear up to where that resistor is up there, wandering along. Okay. Oh, thought I had it then. Clearly not. All right, let's bounce over here for a bit. Oh, dear. Hmm. Old slow-mo ground here. Let's try going this way. I mean, once again, you know, the the level design um, is just just brilliant. Uh, you know, it's a real challenge, and the fact that you can, you know, use as many lives as you want to to to, to get better at it obviously helps. But it it's still very much a challenge. Just just trying to complete it. Um, you know, regardless of lives, it's just it's, it's just fiendishly difficult. <laughs> so I'm going to skip uh, onto level 15 now because I want to see what this one's about. Um, all right, now this one you have to basically need to try and uh, time your left and right movements so that you sort of almost fall past the trampoline here, yeah, and then yeah, it's just sort of just in between the jump, you just kind of edge to the left. No, there we go. And then again down here, and just kind of squeeze past. There we go. And then we can drop down here. And we've got another little chap here bouncing around. He's some kind of battery. He's got a negative and positive terminal by the looks of it. Ooh, he comes all the way over here. Oh, oh, I bounced off his head. There you go. That proves what I thought. That certainly with some of these bad guys, you can actually bounce on them, but only if you're very careful. Incidentally, I do like the uh, the fact that there's a Z80 bouncing up at the top of the uh, top right there. I like the fact that that's being positioned as a bad guy <laughs> in the game. Obviously, the Z80 was not not a uh, not not the chip used in the in the Beeb or the uh, Acorn Electron. It was obviously the trusty 6502. You found the Z80 in the likes of the Spectrum and other machines. But uh, yes, all the flags that I need, of course, are being held almost being held hostage by the Z80, as it as it would appear. Uh, whether or not I'm going to be able to get up there, I very much doubt, because even if you've managed to get to this stage, you've got the resistor who's just going to uh, nab you. All right. I'm getting better at drop... Well, I thought I was getting better at dropping down, but anyway, we're going to take a look at the last level in the series of levels, so the 16th level here. Um, this one, as you might imagine, is possibly the hardest of all, um, and it's very easy to lose lives here. Um, yep, <laughs> without even almost trying. Not not that I do try to lose lives, but uh, yes, yeah, so almost if you just stay still for too long, basically, your, your curtains. Now, I think the idea is you're supposed to... Oh, just lives galore here. You're supposed to bounce off of the, uh, the, the chap moving up and down on the bottom right there to engineer yourself into that gap where the zero is spinning round. Oh, there you go. So I managed to bounce off him, but put myself back on the... Uh, on the same platform. <laughs> oh, oh, almost had it then. No, live's going all over the place here. 
just endless, endless error beeps. <laughs> oh, 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 that's interesting. I wonder if you could fall all the way down, and probably not. Imagine that that's... Oh, no. Ow. Oh. <laughs> really? Whoa! <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is really, really hard work. I'm not sure I'm going to get anything. I don't think I'm going to be getting past this uh, this first flag that I managed to claim in the first few seconds of the level. Oh, no. Oh, you really do need some proper skill here to time the jump to bounce off of that. Oh, no, no. Oh, see, I managed to jump off him, but when I do, it's just at the wrong times. So it just puts me back on the same bit I was in before. <laughs> okay. Oh, d oh. <laughs> so close. Am I going to manage to do at least this part of the level? No, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. I've managed to claim one more flag. Although it's anyone's guess how I managed to get from... Oh, well, now I'm back at the beginning again. <laughs> I was going to say it's anyone's guess how I get from there to the uh, the bit underneath. Oh, dear. Well, this level is likely to keep me occupied for many hours, I suspect. Um, not sure I'm going to spend all of those hours uh, in this video. Um, so I think what we might do now is take a look at what happens if you do manage to successfully get past level 16. Uh, it takes you back to what appears to be the first level, but now you've got the added menace of the Positron, who, of course, is the, the natural enemy of the Electron. Um, and uh, it basically spirals around in... I want to say a random pattern, but the, perhaps there is a some kind of logic to its ellipses, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yes, obviously contact with the Positron is uh, is bad news, so you really need to avoid it. And it gives a, a nice extra sort of threat to the uh, to the original levels, which I think is an excellent touch. Um, so we're going to move on to the next level. And again, you'll recognise these from earlier in the video, but with the added uh, menace of the Positron, who uh, makes the level that a little bit more challenging. Uh, even on these easier levels at the beginning, obviously, uh, having the Positron flying around makes it that much harder to... Certainly a lot harder to get a good score, because it interrupts your um, your, your, your bonus countdown. Oh, and puts you back to the beginning each time. Oh, okay, that was an unforced error there. Probably didn't need to do that. Uh, no, I can't get it from that platform, I don't think, can I? I think I have to go over to the other side and drop, drop down to get that last flag. There we go. Oh. Um, right. Oh dear, oh dear. Come on, you can do this. Come on, there we go. Oh, no, not quite. Pretty, sh pretty sure that is the way you get the flag, though, so let's just try that again. Oh, oh no, not quite. Oh! <laughs> See, it's great. I mean, it's, 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 it's such a, it's such an elegant way of, of basically adding more levels to the game. Uh, within the confines of you know the amount of memory and so on that, that the game has, just by adding this extra menace, um, and it makes those levels that bit more challenging. I like it. I it's a really clever idea. There we go. Last flight. Oh, goodness gracious. Right. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh goodness. Come on. Up. 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 Oh. <laughs> I think that my repeated attempts on some of those harder levels is is definitely. Um, I don't know whether it's degraded my <laughs> my ability because I seem to remember clearing those levels a little bit quick more quickly earlier. Uh, of course, the positron isn't making things any uh, any easier now. Of course, at this stage, the the positron is the only bad guy on these uh, these first uh, early levels. Imagine that the inclusion of the positron with the other bad guys uh, like the resistors and so on is e is even worse. Anyway, um, I think that we've uh, given Elementum a, a, a good playthrough here. Um, I hope that you'll agree with me that it is a fantastic game. Um, I, I wish this had been around uh, back in the days when I had my original Electron and Beeb because um, it would have given me hours of fun as a child. I know that. And it's given me hours of entertainment as an adult. Um, I really, really like it. And I really do encourage you to, to go and uh, download it from Stardot and have a go yourself. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this review, and until the next time, goodbye.